my friends, it's Nancy. And we're back working on this uh, sewing journal. And um, so this is the first, or what I intend to be the first, um, <laughs> index page, divider page. So let me catch you up where we are. I had this um, old, this is um, a block called uh, Grandma's Flower Garden, Grandmother's Flower Garden. I see a cat hair. Got it. So I glued it onto a file folder and stitched around the edge to just hold it down. And I cut it in half and I folded it in half. And now I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of this front cover or front divider um, to make a little pocket. So I think I'll do that first. And I'm just using Fabri-Tac because that's what I do. It's Sunday morning and so far it's sunny, but the weatherman is calling for rain for the next uh, two or three days. At least it's not snow like last weekend. Because I'm a glass half full kind of girl. Put a couple clamps on this once I've got the glue on. sorting through some stuff yesterday um sorting through some old fabrics and I found a bunch of vintage fabrics that really go together and I thought oh this is perfect I figured out what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna this is gonna be my color palette for this journal and then I remembered mm, no it's not because the cover is red and blue <laughs> Uh, oh well. So what I think that means is I'm going to have another sewing journal. I'm just going to put a couple of these clips on to make sure that it fastens down there good. Okay. The other half I think I will put on the back page. Um, next, I want to do a little bit of a collage on the tab itself, and I've gathered a couple of things. So this is um, just cut from the envelope of a pattern. It says, Simplicity Patterns are featured in Chatelaine Magazine. So Chatelaine Magazine is a Canadian staple, or it certainly was when I was growing up. Um, I remember a Chatelaine cookbook that my mom, that was mom's go-to cookbook. I'm just going to give that a little bit of color. And I've been making these little um, flowers out of feed sack fabrics and sewing on a little button. Uh, I've made like 200 of them. <laughs> so I'm just... Darkening up the edge there. And I've got a little piece of eyelet lace 
I don't want to, I just want to take the white off. I don't want to make it really super dark. So you can tell I sort of had this all laid out and then I thought, turn on the camera. Hello, Nancy, turn on the camera. Um, now, do I want to go... This way, this way, let's put this down first. That's how I'm feeling it. Ugh. Make sure I got it the right side. So I, just like McCall's magazine used to do, they'd have um, sewing a sewing um, page to show, you know, here's the newest patterns that are available for so home sewing. Um, yeah. And finally... Glue this bad boy down. I think it's time to thin out that fabric tack. Okay. Now, I actually have the two little paper dolls um, that were from this pattern. So what I thought I would do is make a tag with one of them. <laughs> oh no. Got glue on her. Oh well, it comes right off. Sort of. And what I could do is glue this one down in that place. What do you think of that? Or is that a waste? Should I make two tags? Uh, this is the tag I wanted to use. It's a uh, coffee dyed, I think. Maybe I'll do two takes. What's this one? Oh, this one's also. Too small. Hmm. Maybe I'll just make the one. Oh, I just threw her on the floor. I kind of wanted to use her, but that, that might make things too red. Let's just do it. Okay. So the idea I want to use for this tag is actually uh, an image I saw on Pinterest and Instagram, and it's from Little Pink Sheep. So um, let me write that down. Little underscore pink underscore sheep. And it's not that, um, it's not that historical. It's a recent, um, it's a recent one that she did. So now what she has been doing is using a roll of paper receipt paper, like 
would go into a um, um, cash register, cash register tape, let's call it that, and collaging little bits of various papers onto that and then using that as the base for um, <clears throat> projects like this. I don't happen to have anything like that, so we're just going to grab some little pieces of paper here. And uh, where is my purple glue? And we'll go to town. So I'm just going to draw sort of a faint line here. This is my little tear ruler. I prefer it's it a little straighter. So I'll know where I want to keep my collage between these two lines. That's pretty faint. That's okay. So. I'll ink this up later. So I'm just going to overlap a little bit. Probably tear this too small. Whoops, don't go anywhere. German, a German chemistry book. Mm. 
These are the little drawings from the front of the pattern that has a sort of a uh, a sketch of what the dress would look like. Okay, I'm going to peel this up. think yeah because I don't want to tear an edge off the top of that there's not a lot of room there What I got. and dreamed and dreamed last night. Years ago, I used to work at a nursing home. And last night, I dreamed and dreamed and dreamed about the nursing home. And I think it's because um, there was some terrible news about a retirement home in Hamilton came out yesterday. And I think that was on my mind. So they had an outbreak at this retirement home and they what it looked like, because of course the news only gives you so much, was that they had taken all of the residents out of this retirement home and moved them to a hospital. Apparently, 75% uh, of the residents were positive for COVID, and I forget how many staff, but a lot of staff. It looked like there was only one death. at the time of the news. Okay. I'll put this little number somewhere. Maybe right there. Okay. All right. I hope I've been pretty much in 
frame. But I'm just checking now. It looks like I was a little low. I apologize for that. Okay. Maybe one more. And add the little shorts here. So I'd like to actually make some of this um, cash register receipt tape. I saw um, an ad on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody had four or a package of five rolls. Send a message. <clears throat> we'll see if they send a message back. Sorry, it's just busting around looking for the lid. Okay. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> I have the ink. Yep, I like how this is coming out. Very good. Okay, now I want to put a little bit of lace on this side. I think I'm going to cut some of that off. And this is the same uh, eyelet that I used on the tab. So you can take some of this bright, shiny light off. wrong with you I'm smacking my computer because I had the image of little pink sheeps okay I got <laughs> well that's annoying Now the reason I wiped that glue with my finger is because I wanted a very thin coat. Otherwise the glue seeps up into the fabric and leaves a stain, um, which is not enjoyable. I don't like it. Okay. Now she also has a flower. It looks like a pressed flower. Um, I might have... 
something handy. Let's just see what we have here. Um, actually, it doesn't look like I do have anything handy. I do have some blue flowers here. Let me just take a peek. Some blue flowers that are already fussy cut. No. That looks dreadful. Forget it. We're not doing flower. <laughs> Can't get it back in the back. <laughs> get back in there, you guys. Alright. Um, what else could I do to fancy this up a bit? Or is that good enough? I could add some stitches. Maybe I'm just humming and hawing too much. Maybe once I put a red bow up there, it'll be okay. Yeah. No more humming and hawing. Let's get this girl glued down. Um, what was I talking about? Can't remember. So I got an email from the vet on Friday. All of Gibson's blood work is absolutely normal. And um, so there's nothing wrong with his kidneys. There's nothing wrong with his liver. There's nothing wrong with his pancreas. There's nothing wrong with his thyroid. No suggestion of inflammation anywhere. And she sent me like all the notes and everything. <sighs> And it's, what's funny is, is in the notes she says that we've noticed the cat is vomiting more since we've been home. And then she said maybe they're just, because they're home, they're seeing it more. Like, we wouldn't have cleaned up vomit before? <laughs> it's an idea. That was the end of the idea. Alrighty. I don't think I'll do anything to the back. I dried this on a rack, so the coffee settled in between the pieces, the bars of metal. So that kind of gives you lines to write on, eh? Uh, just get some seam binding. Ooh, that's a lot of seam binding. Got a smaller piece. Now, I wish I knew how to do stuff. The bow that she has on this is so gorgeous. And I have no clue.
I had an idea. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. George. I think I could almost live with this. No, I can't. wasn't on there very solid. Yeah, I'm never going to get a big bow on there. That's better. All right. I forgot to ink the back. those off. And pop you in. Well, I'm quite happy with that, except this isn't stuck.
ta-da! So that is page one. All right. Well, thanks for sticking around to watch that. Um, I'm probably going to do the same on the very last page. You take care. We'll talk to you again soon.